blessing us, praise God, that whenever we find ourselves in a, in a place to where God can use us, amen, he don't use us all in the same place at the same time. We all have different ministries and different places of servitude. Amen, when I say servitude, different places to serve in the church. Some people serve by praying, some people serve, amen, by singing. I hope we all praying, but I mean, uh, some are prayer warriors, some uh, are better equipped to pray for others, and they lean on others to pray for them more than they do others, not simply, uh, simply because, praise God, that God has put them in that place. How many of you know that it's a ministry, amen, to be a prayer warrior, praise God. Praise God. People call upon you. Amen. I want people to be able to call upon me. Pray for me. In 2 Kings chapter 3, I want to show you something in the scripture very powerful this morning to me. Praise God. And it has to do with obedience. In servitude, or whenever you're in service for the Lord, we know that we got to be obedient. Amen. God called me to preach, and I'm going to preach this morning. And amen. He's called me to preach many years ago, and I've been preaching. Amen. Expounding on the Word of God. Amen, do it better and better every week. I hope, amen, as I learn, as I study, and I show myself approved, amen, be an instant in season and out of season. That's the thing that we got to do. Amen, God's called us to preach, amen. We got to read the word, digest the word, study the word, know the word, amen, talk the word, live the word, amen, praise God. Let the word be an example in our lives and we'd shed out into the community, praise God. We do, amen, not only as preachers, amen, but ministers and there's many ministers in the church. Amen. Praise God. There's each and every one of us here today. Praise God. We're, amen, by the scripture called out to be a light unto the world. Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, that we're to compel men to come into the house of God. How is it, amen, when we go out into the highways and the byways that we're able to compel, amen, people to come into the house of God? Amen. We got to show them something. Glory to God. Amen. We got to be able to show them, amen, that there's more, amen, to our lives than just what they see in the world. How many of you know that the world will promote the world, amen, but the church has got to promote the church? The world is not going to promote the church, amen, but you promote the church, amen, because you live in the world and you've overcome the world because Jesus Christ has overcome the world. Praise God. Does that make any sense? But servitude, amen, being a servant of Christ. Amen, I know that a lot of times that things come our way, we have all kind of problems, amen, and we don't feel like, amen, sometimes maybe we're good servants. Uh, we don't feel like, amen, maybe we do it enough. And, uh, sometimes, amen, you get, maybe you get the feeling, amen, like you could do more, but you just don't have time. Job don't permit. Family issues don't permit. I want you to know something today. Amen. Praise God. We got an obligation, amen, to uh, fulfill with our families, and we got to meet the obligations of our family. Amen. God's not going to give you a family, amen, and not let you be able to provide for your family. Amen. But inside of that, praise God, amen, being a servant, amen, being a minister to your family. Amen. When God God calls you, amen, and you're a man, God calls you to be a husband. Amen. God calls you to be the head of the house. Amen. There's, amen, something to do in that. Amen. Whenever I say amen, you got to stand up. You got to be the leader that God's ordained you to be. Amen. Praise God. That's obedience. Amen. Be it, amen, where you've been called to be. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. A child is a gift from God. Amen. To the father and the mother. Amen. But God's given us, amen, specific duties. He's given the man the job to be the husband. Amen. Be the, amen, the head of the house to be the leader. Amen. In the family. Glory to God. And that's the way it's supposed to be, but not all the times it works out. Huh? Amen. Sometimes when a man ain't in the house, amen, the woman has to step up. Huh? Amen. To fulfill her role, and not only hers. Huh? Amen. But the role, amen, of a man. Huh? Amen. That won't stand up and serve God. Huh? Amen. How many of you know? Huh? Amen. That don't make you less of a servant. Huh? Amen. Because you got to do the job of another. Huh? Amen. In the church a lot of times. Huh? Amen. We got to do more. Huh? Amen. To what amen even might be required of us. Huh? Amen because there's so many slackers in the church. Amen. And I ain't calling you a slacker by no means. I'm just saying, you can look around and tell it's slack this morning. Amen. I know some people's out because maybe the young and sick or whatever or, you know, mom and daddy, whatever, you know. Uh, I worked last night. Well, I worked many nights to come and preach. Taught Sunday school. It's dedication. I ain't telling you you got to be as dedicated as I am. I'm just telling you where my heart lies this morning. 
in obedience and servitude, praise God. Amen, it means something. I want you to know something. This is what I'm trying to preach this morning, is it means something to be dedicated. It means something, amen, to have a service. It means something, amen, to have a record. Amen, glory to God, I want you to tell you this morning, amen, and it means something, amen, when people pick up the phone and they call you, amen, Brother Scott, pray for me. Amen, Brother Scott, I got this issue. Amen, Brother Scott, we need to pray about this. Amen, Brother Ronnie, amen, Brother Amen, Brother Jerry, amen, all these people, Brother Derek, amen, when they call you, praise God, it means something, amen, to have a record. Amen. Glory to God. It's because. Amen. You are obedient. Amen. You are obedient in your service. Praise God. Let me read a few scriptures. In 2 Kings chapter 3. I'm not going to read all these scriptures. But I'm going to just read a few. Just to give you a picture of what's going on. Verse 1. Now Jehoram the son of Ahab. Remember Ahab done more to provoke the anger of God. Than all his fathers before him. Now Ahab is dead. Amen, he's out of the picture. Amen, God's judgment. How many of you know that whenever God says he's going to judge, amen, he's going to judge. How many of you know that, praise God, each and every one of us, amen, the Bible tells us, amen, that it's once appointed unto man a time to die and need a judgment. Amen, Jesus Christ is telling us, amen, this morning, amen, that there's coming a judgment. Each and every one of us is going to have to stand, amen, and give an account, glory to God. Amen, people's just playing around, amen, goofing off. Amen, worrying, amen, about everything else, amen, other than, amen, getting to heaven, praise God. I ain't talking about us, we here in church, praise God. We've forsaken, we've not forsaken the assembly of ourselves. I'm talking about, amen, the people out there that's goofing off. I know a bunch of them, amen, I know people, amen, that don't go to church. Well, I don't go to church, well, you know, so and so, they, they this or they that. Amen, praise God. You're going to dive off into hell just because, amen, you think you know something that you, a lot of people really don't even know. Amen, they'll say that this church is that. Well, I heard this pastor does this. I heard that some of his deacons do this. I heard that they talk this way. I heard that they done that. Amen, come on. Amen, and assemble yourself. Amen, in the presence of the Lord. Amen, and let God bless you. Praise God. Amen, when it comes to service, amen. Whenever Jesus Christ, amen, paid the price, amen, gave his life and died on that cross for me and you, amen, he gave us a job to do, amen, to tell the world about him, amen, and that's what we gotta do. We've been called to be a servant. More than a servant, praise God. So now listen, verse one, chapter three. Now Jehoram the son of Ahab began to reign over Israel in Samaria in the 18th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah. So now remember this time that Israel and Judah was divided. In other words, they had a king over Judah. It wasn't like uh, David being the king over everything. We got a king over Israel, which is Jehoram. We got a king over Judah, which is Jehoshaphat. Listen. And he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, but not like his father and like his mother, Ahab and Jezebel. For he put away the image of Baal that his father had made. Nevertheless, he cleaved unto the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Debat, which made Israel to sin, and he departed not therefrom. Even though he tore down the, amen, the, the, uh, the groves or the statues or, amen, the memorials, amen to the, amen, to the false gods of Baal, amen, and if you want to read and study Baal, you can study him for a long time. Amen. Uh, they just so many different references to this God. They had a God of the flies, a God of this, the God of that, the God of this, uh, the God of everything, amen. And Baal represents all this, amen. Actually, what it represents is the world. I'm saying it like that. You won't find that in none of the references if you look and study uh, out the false religion of Baalism. You won't see that, amen. But the one that we see right here, amen, is probably most prevalent to the Lord of the flies, but these people made a God to everything. And the Bible says, listen, amen, that whenever Jezebel, I'm trying to teach you a little bit this morning, whenever she came in to Israel through marriage, amen, and Ahab threw down God, amen, and he picked up her religion. Y'all know y'all read that. Amen, and not only, amen, whenever they, judgment came to them, amen, for killing Naboth. How many of y'all know, amen, that Naboth died on in that vineyard? Amen, glory to God, God gave it to him, amen, but I want you to know something, amen, when they murdered, amen, when they murdered Naboth, amen, judgment, God seen it, amen, and God sent judgment to the house, amen, praise God, 
Amen. And now his son's in an opportunity. Ahab and Jezebel's out of the picture. I want to make sure I explain this to you. I know this might be a little boring to some of you. Amen. Maybe not. Amen. But Jehoram, amen, has took the place of Ahab. And he says, amen, that he tore down the false, amen, the statues and the memorials, amen, to the false god. Amen. But he continued on in the sin. Come on. Amen. He continued on in the sin. Now, amen, it says that Moab, amen, the, 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 the king of Moab, I want you to get this. Mesha, the king of Moab, verse 4. Amen. He was subservient unto Ahab. And when I say subservient, I mean, amen, he, he done what Ahab said. Amen. Ahab was his king. But now Jehoram, amen, has took the place of Ahab. And let's listen and see what happens. Verse 4. And Mesha, the king of Moab, was a sheep master. And he rendered unto the king of Israel, which was Ahab, a hundred thousand lambs. Y'all see it? And a hundred thousand rams with wool. So in other words, amen, to Ahab, amen, he gave all this stuff. Why? Because he respected him as a king. But listen, verse 5. But it came to pass when Ahab was dead that the king of Moab rebelled against the king of Israel. Amen. In other words, amen. He said, I'm not going to give you any more sheep. I'm not going to give you any more rams. Amen. I feared your daddy, but I don't fear you. Amen. And he rose up against Jehoram. Amen. And made him nervous. Amen. You know why? Amen. Because he wasn't a man. Amen. He could protect what he had. Amen. Even Ahab knew God. How do I know that? Amen, when God sent judgment to Ahab, Ahab fell on his knees, covered his hands with ashes, amen, and sat close, amen, and he prayed, amen, and you know what God said? Amen, God told the prophet, amen, see how Ahab does humble himself before me. Amen, he knew better. Amen, even though he wasn't a good servant and he wasn't obedient, amen, Ahab knew, amen, how to get a hold of God, amen, through a prayer of repentance, amen, but nonetheless, amen, his evil deeds and his sin, amen, was judged by God. Jehoram now is in the same picture. He's not the man that his daddy was. How many of y'all know we've seen that through the Bible? Nebuchadnezzar was a great king and ruled, amen, and people feared him, amen, because why? He was a... He was a king. He acted like a king. He talked like a king. How many of you know that Belshazzar, amen, wasn't like that? Even the prophet told him, amen, that you got, amen, examples. You had an example before you, amen, but you ain't followed it, amen. Now the handwriting on the wall is this, amen, that God's going to rend your kingdom from you. Amen, I want to tell you today, amen, today in today's world, amen, men may accumulate great possessions, amen, but they'll never own them, amen, because listen, amen, anything that you got that don't belong to God, amen, it'll be separated, amen, come judgment day. Amen. What am I talking about? If you got something that ain't God's, amen, you're going to be separated from that. Lay up in heaven treasures where the moth and the rust don't corrupt. God gave you, gives you a big time good job making good money, amen, and you don't use that, amen, to bless your family and to bless, amen, your neighbors, to bless your church, amen, praise God, amen, you just hoard it all up, amen, me and mine and my four and no more, amen, I want you to know something, amen, God, amen, may let you have the pleasures, amen, of all of that money, amen, and all of the things that comes with it, amen, but come judgment day, amen, it'll be severed away from you. Amen. Praise God. So now, I want you to get this picture. I'm going to hurry up. Misha, the king of the Moab, Moabites, he's rose up against Jehoram, the king of Israel. Now the king of Israel sends out a message to the king of Judah, Jehoshaphat. Amen. Come and help me. I need your help. And the king of Edom, I need your help. Amen, this man, amen, Misha, this Moabite, this crazy rascal, amen, he used to serve my father, amen, and he'd give my father rams and, amen, sheep every year, amen, so that, amen, my daddy would, amen, keep him in good graces and he'd stay in good graces, amen, but now daddy's gone, amen, and this crazy rascal rose up, amen, and said he ain't gonna do right no more, amen, a matter of fact, he's wanting to come over here, amen, and try to take what I got. Now I'm saying that in my own words. 
I want y'all to league with me. Hey, Mr. Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom, they send back, hey, our people is just your people. We'll stand with you. Hey, man, that's kind of like we do. Hey, man, Sister Kay, when we got a problem in the church. Hey, man, when I say a problem in the church. Hey, man, when somebody's sick. Hey, man, they come down and they say, Brother Scott. Hey, man, we want you to league with me. Hey, man, I want you to bind it. Praise God. Hey, man, me and my brother work. Hey, man, we've been binding stuff. Hey, man, we've been praying. Hey, man, and binding it here on earth. Hey, man, because the Bible says. Hey, man, if I pray with faith and bind it here, it'll be bound in heaven. Amen. When I got a problem and I pray and ask God, you know what I want him to do? I want him to bind that thing. So we league together. We see an example of that in the scriptures right here in chapter 3. Turn with me on over. So now the three kings is riding together. I'm going to paraphrase this to redeem the time. They're riding together and they've been riding for seven days. They get them a compass. They've been riding their cows is getting thirsty and all their animals is getting hungry and hey man, they don't know what to do. Hey man, they're getting they despair starting to set in. How many of you know sometimes, hey man, in the service for the Lord, hey man, you could get, hey man, some despair in your heart. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You can get some despair in your heart. Hey man, so now, hey man, they begin to pray. They begin to say, hey, look at here, what's going on? Hey, man, here we have lead together and we've been going this far. Hey, man, glory to God, starting with verse 10. Hey, man, listen to what they say. And the king of Israel said, alas, the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of the Moabs. Hey, man, so now y'all remember, the only reason that these three kings is leading together, hey, man, is because, hey, man, Bisha, the king of the Edomites, hey, man, has rose up. Amen, he's rose up, amen, not the Edomites, amen, but the Moabites. Amen, he's rose up against, amen, Israel. Amen, so Brother Ralph, they've called in a league. Amen, and now here the league is, amen, in the valley of despair. Why? Because God ain't just, amen, answered everything, amen, and just laid it out, amen, and give it to you. Let me tell you something, amen, it don't always work that way. Amen, glory to God sometimes. Amen, you got to get in there, Brother Wayne, and work it out. Amen, God just didn't teach me, amen, the Bible by laying it on my head. I had to open it up and read it. God could have. But where is the service in that? Amen. He gave me the calling to preach. Amen. He filled me. Amen. With the anointing. Amen. But the service in that. Amen. Is the fact. Amen. That I get in there and dig it up. Amen. Brother. Brother Steve. Amen. I get in there and dig it out. Amen. And he blesses me. Opens it up. Amen. For me. Gives me that. Amen. That he's called me to do. Amen. Making me a success. In my calling. That's what I'm preaching this morning. So now, amen. They said, look, they've been talking amongst themselves in verse 10. Verse 11, I've preached on this scripture before. Jehoshaphat says, listen, verse 11. Is there not a prophet of the Lord? In all of Israel. Amen, he's talking about Israel, Judah. Amen, this is God's country. Amen, these two kings, Jehoram, amen, and Jehoshaphat, amen, they king over God's people. Amen, and listen to what Jehoshaphat says. Amen, he says, is there not a prophet, is there not a man of God, amen, in our country today, amen, that we can inquire of, amen, somebody that we know, amen, is a man of God, somebody, amen, that's got the goods, amen, somebody that we can see the light burning, amen, is there somebody... Jehoshaphat said, is there not a prophet of the Lord that we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat. And this is my text right here. Which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, the word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. 
And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Give thee to the prophets of your father. Listen to what he said. Amen. Y'all been serving Baal. Amen. Y'all been having a big time. Amen. Over there serving Baal. Doing whatever you want. Amen. Listen. He said, what have I to do with you? Amen. Why don't you go and call on, amen, them false gods, them ones. Amen. It's got you in the predicament that you're in now. Amen. I'm just saying it in my words. Get thee to the prophets of thy father and to thy mother. Remember, Jehoram is the king of Israel. In Ahab and Jezebel, steed. So now he says, And the king of Israel said unto him, For the Lord has called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand surely, were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah. Listen to what he said. Now there's three kings there. And he said, you know what? If it wasn't for Jehoshaphat, I wouldn't even have talked to you other two. Look at it. Surely if it were not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I would not look toward thee nor see thee. Amen, my thought this morning, amen, is servitude and obedience. Amen, praise God, amen, they was in a bad place, amen, the Moabites was going to come in, amen, and destroy them. Amen, they didn't even have the leadership, amen, you know why? Because they had not, amen, submitted themselves, Brother Jody, unto the one leader, amen, that we all need to be submitted to. Uh, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, uh, amen, he's the head of the church, amen, and we ought to, amen, be walking even as he walked this morning. Uh, I want you to know today that, praise God, uh, amen, obedience means something, uh, amen, and our record means something, uh, amen, if you don't believe it when you get to heaven you ask Hezekiah amen about the 15 extra years amen that God gave him amen when he looked upon his record amen but now amen Jehoshaphat said amen is there not a man of God amen to whom we can inquire amen of the Lord for us amen I want you to know today church is still the same way today amen I believe people are still hungry to hear the word of God amen but they looking for somebody amen praise God Amen to get up and preach and tell them the truth Amen the judgment is coming Amen there is a hell Amen there is a heaven Amen to see it Amen to get you in trouble with God They looking for somebody Amen to still have a little bit of guts Amen and somebody Amen to still have some obedience Amen, everything that gone to, amen, hell in a handbasket in Israel and Judah. Amen, but I want you to know something. Amen, the men of God still knew, amen, who to call on. Amen, and I like what they said. Amen, there's Elisha. Amen, the son of Shephat. Amen, the one that poured water. Amen, on the hands of Elijah. Amen, what does that mean? Amen, that means he served Elijah with all his heart. Glory to God. He didn't never fall out of line. See, what they was wanting, this is my point, what they was wanting from Elisha came through that last sentence. Amen. They was wanting a word from the Lord. They was wanting some guidance from God. Amen. But that guidance, that word came through that last sentence in that scripture. Which poured water on the hands of Elijah. So what does that tell me, Brother Terrell? Amen, when Elisha, amen, asked Elijah, amen, when he said, amen, what is it that you want? Amen, he said, I want twice as much as you got. Amen, that meant to me, amen, that tells me, Sister Kathy, amen, that he had a desire. He wanted to do twice as much. He wanted to win twice as many people. He wanted to do twice as many miracles. Amen, but whenever, amen, the time come, amen, the people needed a word. Amen, they needed a word from somebody. Amen, to have some obedience. Amen, somebody, glory to God. That was an example. Listen to me. They didn't say Elisha that threw the salt in the pottage and everybody lived and it made the soup out of the poisonous fruit. Huh. They didn't say Elijah that whenever Elijah was took up in a chariot of fire, 
that thrust his mantle into water and the water was divided. They didn't say that. They didn't. You know what they said? They said, Elisha, the one that served Elijah. Amen. That was his record of obedience. Amen. Not, amen. Not to make him any less than Elijah. Amen. But whenever his position was, amen, of service. And listen to me. Amen. The reason I'm trying to break this out this morning, amen, is because every one of us, Sister Sherry, amen, in this day and age that we live, amen, we're in a position of servitude. Amen. We got to be subservient to the Lord. Amen. We got to move when he says move. Amen. We got to walk when he says walk. We got to talk when he says talk. Amen. He is our example. We ought to be pouring water on Jesus' hands every day. Amen. Praise God. Now, see, listen. Zapple. I'm fixing to quit. Amen. Whenever, amen, people call me, they might not say, Scott Smith that poured water on the hands of Roy Davis. They might say, Scott Smith that pours water on the hands of the congregation at Anchor Fellowship Church. Amen. Or Sister Kathy that pours water on the hands of the congregation. Amen at Anchor Fellowship Church because she teaches Sunday school. Every Sunday she's here. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And if she ain't here, she makes arrangements for somebody to be here. Amen. Why? Because she cares about it. Amen. Why do we do this? Amen. It's because we're in service. Amen. And it's our reasonable service. Amen. And I'm pressing hard. Amen. Towards the mark. Glory to God. Amen. For my high calling. Amen. Praise God this morning. Service and obedience. Now listen to what he says. He says this. Amen. Jehoram, you got your position because mom and daddy ain't in the picture. You was the next one in line, so you the king. Amen. The king of the Edomites. He said, y'all know what? If Jehoshaphat, and we know that Jehoshaphat was a man that feared and reverenced God. He said, if it wasn't for Jehoshaphat, he said, I would not even have heard y'all nor would I even have seen you. Amen, you wouldn't even have been able to come up here and talk to me if it hadn't been for that man. Amen, that's got a record. Amen, of serving God. Amen, of being in service. Amen, having some obedience. I want you to know something today in 2016. Amen, Uncle Larry, I believe it's important. Amen, to have a record with God. Amen. Of obedience, of service. Praise God. And listen to what God said. Are you already in a valley? He said, uh, y'all ought to go through this valley, all through this valley and dig ditches. If you ain't got but five acres to dig upon, and you want the pond to hold more water, what do you gotta do without making it bigger? You gotta dig it deeper. That's why when you see a lot of people, they'll dig a pond, they have it dug out, and then they'll go back in the middle of it and they'll dig out as deep as they can dig. Three or four trenches in it. So it'll hold more water. Amen. Whenever you think you got all you can get, amen, I want you to dig some trenches in your life. Amen, where well, you can put some more in. Listen to what I'm talking about. He said, y'all ought to go through there and dig out. He said, because I'm fixing to fill that, all that up. Amen, y'all need water, y'all fixing to fill it all up, and I'm going to do it without rain. You read it. Amen, God filled that valley up with water. Amen, and they was drinking all, listen, all the cows was drinking, everything was happening. Amen, and God done it without rain. 
Amen. And then them Moabites, amen, Sister Sherry, they got up that next morning and looked across there, amen, and the way the sun was shining, amen, he said, you know what? Amen, them church folks, them three kings, they done got mad with one another, amen, and they done fought amongst themselves, amen, and that water looked red like blood, amen, said, here they come, amen, over there to try to get, amen, what there was left of, of God's people, amen, and to destroy themselves, amen, but when they got over there, amen, glory to God, that ain't what had happened, amen, they had been one man in the crowd. I'm talking about Elisha. Amen. Somebody that had a record. Amen. And served God. And it says that the children of God rose up and destroyed them. Amen. Why? Because of that one man. No other reference was made to any of the miracles that he done. But you know what they said? He poured water on the hands of Elisha. He was obedient. He was a servant. What about us today? So many people want glory for the things of God. They want money for God giving them the wisdom to write a book. Amen. I know it takes a lot of money to fuel these things. Amen. But if I got 10 best things, if God gives me a revelation of the 10 best things, amen, you can do, amen, to get out of debt, I ain't going to charge you for it. If he gives it to me freely, amen, the word of God, amen, Brother Jerry, he give me the ability, amen, to dissect it, look at it, open it up to me, amen, praise God, I ain't going to charge you for that. Amen. Stand with me to your feet. What am I preaching about this morning? I'm preaching about servitude, service, being obedient. Amen. God looking at a record. Amen. Somewhere down the line. Amen. We got to be obedient to something. Amen. More than being obedient to Anchor Fellowship Church. Amen. I'm asking you this morning to be obedient to God Amen. and to the congregation of God's people. Being obedient to God. Service for the Lord. I ain't going to beat you up about your service. You know where you're at. Amen.